Hey guys, what's up? It's Con17 here. Welcome to a Sum Game Sunday. Today, as you guys can see, I do have some Terraria action for you guys. And uh, today's video, rather than a boring live com where I just walk around, get distracted, get nothing done, and talk about random stuff, today's video is going to be a voiceover, and there's actually going to be stuff in Terraria that's happening. And we're going to get stuff, and we're going to go places, and we're going to make progress. So, what happens in this video is uh, I attract the merchant NPC, and I attract the nurse NPC to my little... Um, Terraria Village, I guess I had to look into it. I did a bunch of research last night while I was just hanging out, supposedly doing some homework. That is definitely not what's going on, but um, I got those attracted into my little village. I'm super happy about that. I've been meaning to do that for a while. Uh, I also find tons of good loot, and then I get some upgrades, and I also go mining, and then I also get killed by four boulders. I had no clue there were boulders in this game, but apparently there are, and I was just in my little tunnel hanging out and then randomly just like I explode on the screen it's like the Quan 17 was ripped apart by a boulder so I guess that happens in this game I took I edited those parts out but um I probably should have had him I got I got kind of mad at some point it was it was pretty funny though so that's kind of what happens but um yeah so why I'm voicing this over I mean it's kind of self-explanatory when I was just kind of introducing this but I'm voicing it over because every time I try and record Terraria what ends up happening is I either mine wood and then try and build a structure, and then I get so ADD sidetracked, for those who don't know I have ADD, um, I don't, I don't have it super bad, but I'm super bad at, uh, multitasking, I guess, and so I'll be trying to build, and I'll be trying to talk to you guys at the same time, and then what'll end up happening is I will just stand still, and I won't be building anything, and I might have some good talking to you guys stuff going on, but there's gonna be nothing going on on screen, or I will be doing a bunch of stuff on screen, and I'll have no clue what to talk about, so that's why I'm voicing it over today. Um, hopefully, hopefully I won't have to do too many more voiceovers in the future, but I'm kind of thinking, uh, just looking at this series in the future, as I kind of always do with the different series we have going on in this channel, I'm thinking, just because I seem to get nothing done, uh, when I'm trying to build or do something it takes actual concentration, I'm thinking for the videos where I have to do, like, more boring, tanky stuff, like mining, or just building some apparatuses or something like that. I'm thinking that I just record it all and then um, voice it over later. And then with cool things like interesting stuff like a boss battle or like raiding a dungeon or something, I think I would live combat and then um, upload that. So speaking of boss battles, I don't do one in this video. But the reason I was mining and doing all this stuff is I'm trying to prepare myself to go fight the Eye of Cthulhu, which is the first boss, if you guys didn't know, in Terraria. It's the easiest, most basic one, and I think what you need are you need that. Are you need? <laughs> you need 10 lenses from these little eyeball, like annoying little eyeball things that fly around during the night. And then you need to find this, like, satanic crafting table. I think I just made that name up, but there's, like, this weird crafting table thing you need to find in an underground dungeon, and then you can craft, like, some summoning thing, and you can get the Eye of Cthulhu, and I was also researching that last night, and that was a possibility for this video, but given that I have wooden armor still, I was thinking that probably would not work, because I saw two guys with, like, shadow armor and stuff, and they were having difficulty with it, but... Uh, one more thing I forgot to mention that happens in this video and why I attract the nurse to my village is I found three heart crystals I think they're called so I'm starting I'm starting to get good at this game guys I mean maybe it's premature to say that but I definitely think I'm improving at this I'm not gonna say we hit the jackpot because I think I said that one video when I found like a spear or a torch or something and my younger cousin and his friend have yet to cease giving me shit for that so I'm not gonna say we hit the jackpot but we definitely did a lot better than we have in the past so Anyways, the future, in summary, will be more voiceovers and then some interesting boss battles or something like that. And then speaking of my cousin, uh, just talking about him, he's a cool guy, I've hung out with him super much. I've told some stories about him, he's a funny guy, his older brother, we're all, we're all pretty close, I would say. Uh, we hang out a fair amount, I guess, uh, for cousins. And um, he plays a fair amount of Terraria, or at least he used to, and he definitely knows what he's doing. So we've been thinking that maybe he will make a server and we can upload my map on there and then he can just kind of help me out with Terraria in general because, as you guys can probably tell, I have absolutely no clue what I'm doing. So, kind of what I think of Terraria on that topic is I think it's a lot of fun, but if you don't know what you're doing, kind of like me, um, I think it's just not as much fun. I think it's one of those games where you really have to do your research, like, put in, I'm not going to say the hours because I think it'd be pathetic to waste hours researching a game like this, but 
you got to put in the minutes at least. Like you got you to put in some time just researching this game and kind of figuring out how to play it because there is no manual in the game. There's nothing telling you what you got to do. You have to do it yourself. You have to find everything out for yourself. It's kind of like you they just throw you in. You're on your own. And they I mean they have the guy. They have Jack. Whatever. I think mine's named Jack. But they have that guy. But really he is not all that helpful. I'm gonna be honest here. Um. He's kind of like some shitty tech support program or something. He sort of tells you what to do, but he is just not helpful at all. So they have that. But I definitely think it's a game where you have to know what you're doing. So guys, please, please, like, I'm begging you here. Please, if you know anything about this game, anything more you think than, you know, than I know about it, please leave it below. Because I could really use all the help I could get. Um, just leave your support, your advice, what I should do next, how to do that. Um, all in the comments below, you can also message me on Steam or leave a comment in my Steam group, Quan Clan, which you should definitely join. And we also went over 100 members this week or last week, so thank you guys all so much for that. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that's kind of what I think about Terraria. I think it's a fun game that you really have to know a lot about to be good at, um, which I'm still trying to learn. So, kind of moving on from Terraria, and maybe we'll go back later, uh, kind of games I've been playing lately is a lot of League of Legends, I'll be honest with you. Right now, at this point, please don't hate me, but I like League of Legends better than Dota. Um, there are a few reasons why. One of them is that League of Legends is just newer to me, and to me, there's actually a little, like, incentive to winning. And then also, Dota is about to make Dota so much easier for noobs. They're about to buff all the overbuffed characters, and they're about to debuff all the debuffed characters. Like, they're gonna make Axe more powerful, they're gonna make Zeus more powerful, they're, and then they're gonna make all these characters that are harder to play and more fun to play, they're gonna make them even less powerful. So they're making it really noob friendly now, and I just don't like that, so I'm thinking I'm gonna take a nice long break from Dota, so don't hate me for liking League more right now, I mean I've liked Dota a lot more for all the years that I've played it, but at this point League is just kind of my favorite game, well it's not my favorite game, that's incorrect, but over Dota it is my favorite game, and I've been playing as the character Ramus. he's like this forget he's like an armadillo and he's he's pretty good so i've been playing a little bit of league i've also been playing a little bit of dota and i'm a little tired of it as i said and then i've been playing some fistful of frags which was what uh today's other option was going to be but that just didn't work out so what i've been up to irl i've been doing some cross country running i had a race yesterday but then i missed the bus that was leaving for like some place that's kind of far away so i wasn't able to make it there but uh this week or last week had a lot of running going on. Um, other than that, I've been sleeping. I've been watching Vanos Gaming. I don't know if you know who he is, but he's like this super funny YouTuber. I only just discovered him a couple months ago, and now I've just been watching him a lot. So I've been watching a lot of Vanos uh, lately. You guys should definitely check him out. <laughs> big shout out to him. I think he's almost at like 10 million or something. He's a really big YouTuber, but super funny. I've been watching a lot of that, doing homework and sleeping. So that's kind of what I've been up to. Um, other than that, I tried to record a Minecraft series, me and my friends, uh, CTCT, my other friend Royal Sapphire, who I have yet to make a video with, I think, but I've known him for a while, and then uh, Captain Spitfire, we tried to make a dropper series, but we all kind of sucked really bad, and it just wasn't happening, so I'll probably make a rage montage of that uh, for you guys when I start my next series, but other than that, really not much, tried to pre-record some other episodes, but that just didn't happen, so... Um, I guess we can move on here, we're doing pretty good. Uh, this week's shoutouts are going to be Panda Games HD, who does Minecraft, Voidix TM, who does our trademark, and it's in the little, like, tiny font up on the right-hand corner of the name, who does Minecraft, Gmod, and TF2, which sounds pretty similar to what I do, actually. Uh, definitely check them out. And then Dirt Matrix Productions, who does Minecraft and TF2. So all these guys do pretty similar things to what I do. So if you want to see some more of that, definitely go check them out. And then also, uh, Dirt Matrix does a bunch of like funny little games. So be sure to check all those guys out. If you want a shout out, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to support this week's shout outs by going to them. You're going to subscribe to them. If you really want to help me out and help them out and make sure that you get entered for a shout out, be sure to go to their newest video. Drop a like and uh, just leave a comment saying that, you know, like Quan Games sent me, something like that. And then you're also going to have to subscribe to me. You're going to have to like this video. You're going to have to comment that you want a shout out, what you do on your channel, and what you think I'm doing well on mine. And then you're just going to have to stay fairly active on my channel, just stopping by every once in a while. So, anyways, um, before we go, so we've got like another 30 seconds here. Um, 
Kind of the progress on the new PC, there hasn't been much. I've been doing a little more research uh, since last episode, and I'm just figuring it out. The job application, or the job, I am 100% sure I'll get. I mean, I've known the guy forever. I mean, there's like a 1% chance I won't. I'd probably have to write, like, screw you all over the application not to get it, but the job, I think, is going well. Um, and I'll start work soon, so that's kind of the update with me, guys. Uh, thank you all so, so much for watching. I truly, sincerely hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Follow me on Twitter, at Quan Games, which is actually kind of going up. We were at, like, 32, and now we're at, like, 39. Uh, join my Steam group, Quan Clan, like the Facebook page, Quan Games, and, um, yeah. I really hope you guys all enjoyed, and, um, I will see you, yeah, I'll see you next Monday with hopefully some nice pre-recorded Minecraft action. See you guys later.